Hey everybody, it's Heather, and I am back with my favorite video of the year, which is my Stella and Dot Summer Collection video for 2016. Summer Collection has always been my favorite video to shoot because not only is it my favorite season, but there's something about the Summer Collection that's just different from all of the other Stella and Dot collections that come out every year. There's a little bit more whimsy, there's more color, there's more earthy materials, and when you put these pieces on, you just feel happy and carefree and feel like putting on a tank top and a pair of flip-flops and going out and laying in the sun. And there's nothing I love to do more than that. So without further ado, let's dive in because we have whoop, some new stuff to talk about this time. So let's start off with the jewelry, which is always, always beautiful, as you know. Um... The jewelry this year for the summer collection is a lot of really cool different colors and mix of textures. Um, really inspired by, according to Blythe, the chief creative officer, Oaxaca, Mexico. A lot of really neat um, artisan techniques and um, just sort of that cool, funky, um, handmade vibe that we all know and love when it comes to Stellan Dot. So I've got two long necklaces to show you. The first one is silver and turquoise, which is probably one of my favorite color combinations. And this is the Costa necklace. It's a beautiful, simple layering piece with two different chains. And it has this very cute removable tassel. Tassels are a huge trend right now, and we see them on a lot of the pieces here. Um, and it's just got a little bit of gold in it. So this would mix really well with the summer uh, Silver Wanderer necklace that came out with spring. Um, it's long, so you can just throw it on over a casual tank top or a dress. Um, you can clip the tassel at the bottom, at the side, or take it off altogether and just have a very simple layering ne necklace. And it's got a lot of really um, different size of beads and textures and colors, which just makes it really fun and interesting. Loving this piece. And then there's the Raina necklace. Um, I got it in the pink, but this also comes in a natural brown and gold color with wood beads. But this is a really cool blend of gold, uh, looks like almost little gold discs. Um, all this pink that you see is hand, hand done pink thread. And then it's mixed with navy beads, turquoise beads, and these beautiful little dangling gold charms almost and there's some white in there too and there's a few different ways that you can wear this you can wear it just as a simple long necklace it is um, long enough to double so I actually wore this doubled the other day for a really cute sort of funky vibe you can also unhook it and what you can do is actually wear this sort of as a really neat beaded bracelet and just wrap your wrap it around your wrist several times um, for a nice pop of color in your arm party. Um, so this is going to be a really hot seller, I think. And it just sort of brings back that little bit of, I don't know, childhood memory almost, but not in a childish way. Um, this is something that sort of brings me back to my my high school days. And it's very whimsical and I love it. Then we have, um, this came out in the Summer Preview Collection, and I love it. It's a little, what I would call a statement pendant, and this is called the Breeze Block Necklace. And Breeze Block is a type of pattern that you see pretty often in Palm Springs, which was the influence for this collection. And what I love about this pendant is that it's a really unique shape. It's this beautiful shiny gold with white enamel, but on the other side, it's like a aqua minty color so it's reversible it's on a very nice simple delicate chain so you can wear this necklace of course two ways and I love the shape because it's like I said makes a little bit of a statement but it's delicate enough that if you're not into wearing a big necklace or you want to have a small necklace day <laughs> we all have those I'm sure um, this way just goes really well and they also release this beautiful breeze block cuff which I'm wearing today and this has got the nice white breeze, breeze block pattern. It's wide. This is quite substantial. It's got some good weight to it. But it's also just plain gold on the other side. So you can spin this around and wear it whichever way you want. It's on a nice hinged closure. So there's a little safety latch here on the side, which you just open up. And then it's like a spring 
spring closure. So you just pop it open and that's how that goes. Um, it's the exact same design as the Inspiration Bangles, um, but very, very durable. Um, then there is the statement necklace, I think, of the season, which is the Tulum Tassel Necklace. Tell me this isn't the most gorgeous shade of cobalt blue that you've ever seen. This isn't the first time we've seen a multi-strand necklace from Stellan Dot, but what I like about this one is that the side chains are delicate, and they've gone back to this on a uh, one, two, three of them. They've gone back to this ball station chain, which they haven't done in a while, and this is one of my favorite types of chains, is the ball station chain. Um, so this necklace is handcrafted. There's this beautiful navy blue tassels at the bottom. There's all of these tiny, tiny hand-strung seed beads in a couple different sizes in navy. Um, there's this strand here, which has got round beads. I guess I should look at the camera. And then there's this strand, which has got hematite and hand thread wrapping in between some of the beads as well. So a really great amount of detail. And I mean, I don't think at this point, if you've watched my videos, that you really even have to ask. But yes, there are multiple ways to wear this necklace. <laughs> so if you look here on the side, yep, you've got it. Those are spring rings. So what that means is in typical S&D fashion is that you can remove your fingers are cold and it doesn't they don't want to work you can remove these strands from the necklace to change the look so I'm going to take off the tassel necklace part so that comes off so now you're left with just a nice simple blue and gold and hematite necklace and then you can also remove the hematite strand as well so that comes off like so and now you've got just blue and gold and then this comes off so you can wear any combination thereof you can wear each individual component alone um, or all three together so endless possibilities I just I just fell in love with the color and I had to have it and I think what really struck me are these seed beads here they're actually a matte finish and that's something that you don't see very often normally they're a glossy or they have a bit of a sparkle to them but I love the matte finish that just it makes me think of you know buying a necklace um, right off the streets of Mexico and it just gives it that beautiful artisan quality I think because they don't look you know manufactured they're just it's just absolutely beautiful so my favorite necklace of the collection um, and then I got a couple more bracelets. Um, this is the FET bracelet, and I absolutely love it because it's so cute and simple. This comes in gold as well, and it's a gold metal piece with a pink uh, tie and tassel. Uh, but I got the silver because I wanted to pair it with the Costa necklace. Oh, so cute. Super easy to use. It just works on a slide system. And then this part is malleable, so I have pretty big hands, so I find that I have to bend it out quite far to get it over my hand. But once it's on there, no problem. And you just whoop, pull it, pinch it, and there you go. And you have these cute little tassels, and you can stack this up with any of the bracelets. Um, I think it would be cute to wear the silver and gold together just to do sort of like a multicolored arm party. Um, but I just, I love the simplicity of it. I don't like wearing a lot of really heavy in the jewelry in the summer because it's hot. Um, so this is a really perfect lightweight summer style. And then they came out with a really cool concept, which is four bracelet styles in one. This is actually a bracelet called the Vista bracelet. Um, <clears throat> and it's got four different sections, excuse me. It's got this really cute um, navy and silver and gold chain section, sort of goes very well with the Tulum necklace. 
And then this is a bead style that came out in their silver nugget wrap bracelet. Um, and now they've done this in gold and it's got this navy thread wrapping on the side. And then there's this really amazing embroidered woven section in shades of blue, black with a little pop of pink. And then there is this white cord and gold beads. And for those of you who have bought Stella and Dot for a while, you may remember the Robin bracelet. It's almost the same construction. And the closure is a button and loop. And the effect that you get is really cool. Um, you could wear this as an anklet. You could wear this as a necklace if you want. But when you wrap it around your wrist, it makes you look like you're wearing four different bracelets in one. And I just think it's such a fun concept. Um, as I said, there's a silver version that came out as well um, that has three different sections, a little more understated. But I love this paired with the Tulum necklace. I think it's so fun. It's not too matchy-matchy, um, but it's just so summery and whimsical. And then I did get one pair of earrings. Um, they usually release a hoop style in the summer, and this year they did not disappoint. And I love these. These are super fun. These are the bungalow hoops. And I like these because they're in brushed gold, um, so they're not too shiny. And they will pair really well with any of the gold necklaces, shiny or brushed, that they put out in the collection. So you could wear them very easily with the breeze block pendant. The little charms that dangle from these are the same charms that are on the Raina necklace. So these guys match really nicely. And then of course you could also wear them with the Tulum necklace. Um, they have a lot of movement. These aren't fixed, these do slide around. So when you're wearing them in your ears, they have a nice little flutter effect to them. Um, which yeah, makes it sort of fun. And of course, it wouldn't be summer if we didn't talk about bags. Oh, I went a little bag crazy, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. So um, they came out with a couple of really cute straw styles or raffia styles. Um, they did a raffia Nolita crossbody. I told you tassels were a big thing. And I just absolutely fell in love with this purse just because it's so cute. I love the black and white tribal pattern. It's an amazing um, chevron sort of um, tribal detail here in gold and then the black tassel and what's really cute about it is that the inside is hot pink this is a really perfect little summer purse if you're just running out for a couple of errands or if you're going to a party and you don't want to carry a big bag it's got credit card slots it's got two big pockets it's got a change um, change pocket here and then there's also this slot at the back and then you can see here that there's the strap um, is just through these little loops here. So if you want, you can take the strap off completely and you have a cute little clutch. And it's just a very simple snap closure. And then the side is in this really nice sort of saddle color. So it's very neutral, pairs well with lots of different things. Um, I love clutches in the summer and I absolutely, oh my gosh, fell in love with this. This is the best-selling City Slim Clutch pattern. Um, they've been going with the City Slim Clutch for a little over a year now just because it's amazing design. Um, they have the versatile chain that you can buy, which comes in gold or silver, that you can um, buy a la carte. And it attaches to these D-rings to turn it into a crossbody. Um, but I just love the detail. It's a beautiful woven raffia with all... This is real embroidered... Um, design. It's all all embroidered on. It's on the back as well. So cute. And then it's got this sweet little straw fringe. It's a magnetic closure and then it's got a super super cute um, pattern on the inside in this blue and pink e-cat. And then there's the six credit card slots inside and room for your other stuff. Then they came out with a new jewelry case. And I'm very thankful for that because I'm going to hoopla this year and then that means I'm going to need a lot of jewelry. And I was like, I know I'm going to have at least two cases worth and I only have one. And I was like, oh man, what am I going to do? Now I have a second one. First of all, can we talk about these colors? 
how happy does that make you looking at these colors? There's blue and there's pink and there's yellow and there's orange and there's aqua and it's just so happy and I love this abstract ECAP pattern that they do. I just think it's so fun. It's got a cute silver arrow detail on the top and I like that it's a hard shell because it just sits nicely. Um, you can use this as like a little jewelry box when you're traveling. Easy to keep organized, so let's start from the lid. So these little elastic things are where you can put your delicate necklaces um, so they don't get tangled. And then there's you tuck them in there. This is an earring bar, so these will hold your earrings and um, it snaps open. And then here, there's little elastic pockets on the sides for things like rings. Um, I don't think you could fit bracelets in there, but rings or other earrings for sure. And then they've done this tray system. So rather than having a big blob of congealed jewelry, it comes with two removable trays so you can actually layer your pieces and that also will stop them from banging together. So you can fit you know, a couple of statement necklaces and then put your tray in and then do a couple more necklaces and then put your top tray in and then put a top layer on top and then flip your lid, close it, but up and it's done. It's hard, but it's still flexible. And the, what is also great is the lid is flexible, so you can pack a little more in here and it's still gonna fit, which I think is excellent. And then, <coughs> I already have a getaway bag. If you don't know what a getaway bag is, I'm gonna show you. And I really didn't need another one, but they came out with one in the same color as the jewelry case. And I just, oh, it just makes me happy looking at it. And this is going to be the bag that I take to, well, one of the bags that I take to Hoopla. Let's be realistic. This is a new color. Um, it's sort of a blonde, um, like a blonde vegan leather color. Really cute detail with the chevron pattern here. There's a silver arrow outside pocket and it's got the same amazing mint color inside comes with a crossbody strap and how the getaway bag works is you're probably seeing this little zipper around the bottom and saying Heather what's that all about well let me show you so we all know that when we go on a trip we come home usually with more than what we left with so Stella Dot knows that and what they've done is they've made this an expanding bag so what you do is you unzip this section and boop, the bag expands so you now have more room. Um, this bag is deceptively large. Um, it doesn't look necessarily huge when you when you buy it but I'm a tall person so I have big clothes. <laughs> I'm six foot one and I can pack for a week in this bag. A week. Maybe not in the winter when there's lots of like sweaters and pants, but in the summer when I'm dealing with shorts and blouses, absolutely, I can pack for a week in this bag. Pretty amazing. And what I love about the expanding section is the pop-out section is a different color. So again, we've got this beautiful sort of minty aqua color. It's just so bright and fun and happy, and I just love it. Um, before we get into these bad boys, they came out with something super cool. This is new. Um, this is a convertible sarong. Um, they released it in two different colors. This is the hot coral, as they call it, and then there's also a black and white. This is a sarong, so it is sewn halfway. So you basically just step into it. It's got the ties on the side. It's also sized, which I love because um, there's nothing worse than one size sarong when you're either petite and you have way too much fabric or if you're a larger size and you don't have enough. So this comes in small, medium, large um, so it's sized just like a skirt and you step in and then you can just gather it up and tie it on the side. A very very nice lightweight fabric or what you can do, oh yeah by the way there's pom-poms on the bottom. Win, win. Cool colors, convertible sized and there's pom-poms. The pom-poms sold it for me. Um, you can also wear this as a scarf. Automatically just drapes over there for you. You can tie it up in the back so you can adjust how much poof you want at the front 
and you can just sort of fiddle around with it so your pom-poms show because you want to show your pom-poms and uh, it's just such a great fun addition to any outfit I absolutely love it so this is coming with me to Hoopla as well now I have been pointing back there hopefully you don't think I'm talking about my rubber ducky stuffy up there at these clothing items that are sitting on the hangers behind me. Now what are those, Heather, you may be saying? Well, those are tunics. Stella Dot released a couple of tunics last year. It was the first year they did it. Amazing, amazing response. Um, I was hoping they were going to do them again this year because I didn't sample them last year and I regretted it. I've never worn tunics before, but the whole idea just really appealed to me. So I was so happy to hear that they were going to be launching a tunic this year. Um, one was released with the Summer Preview Collection. And then lo and behold, when the full Summer Collection came out, there were two more styles. So of course, I got all three. So let me show them to you. So the theme for the tunics this year was blue and white. And they released three really different styles, which I liked. And the, the other thing that's different this year about the tunics is that they're sized. So in all three sizes, there's an extra small, small, a medium, and a large, extra large. Um, because the feedback that they got last year was that from the customers is that they really wanted to cater to more, um, a wider range of body types and sizes, which I think is absolutely important for any business. Um, so that's what they did and has been amazing, amazing response to these so far. Um, the small, extra small in this style is already sold out, sold out in two days. So next year I think they're going to have to make more. So this is the one that came out with the summer preview collection. This is the lace tunic and I just love the craftsmanship on this and I love the texture. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful woven lace style with a cute fringe on the bottom and I've been wearing this over jeans um, with just a simple white or beige tank top underneath and because it's white you can really play with your statement necklaces so obviously the Tulum would look amazing with this necklace but I've also been wearing it with long um, Riyadh necklace from the spring collection and it looks beautiful with a neutral as well it's very light and airy it's got good stretch to it, and um, I'm fairly big in the shoulders, so I worried about the armhole being too small, but it's not. So I'm six foot one, and I'm a size, generally I'm a size eight to ten. I got the medium, fits perfect. This is the most fitted of the tunic styles out of all the three, and it's just so cute, and I get compliments every time I wear it. The second style is... This beautiful white and blue embroidered tunic and it's got a drawstring waist so you can wear it as more of a sheath or you can cinch this up a little bit and it's going to look more like a romper. Um, this is all actual embroidery. The fabric is beautiful. It's just so lightweight and airy and fun. Um, short people could wear this as a dress. I can't wear this one as a dress. <laughs> Um, it's not going to leave too much to the imagination, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's just got really great detail. It's got the drop sleeves, um, so it's got a very relaxed fit. Um, so it's looser than the lace one, but it's just a really beautiful detail. And this I would wear with like ripped skinny jeans, um, or you could wear it with like short denim cutoffs, and you could give the illusion of a dress, but not actually a dress. And it's just, oh, it's just stunning. I just love the detail on it. So, so pretty. And then the last one, oh, this I got in a medium as well. I probably could have gotten the small, but it would have been more fitted. This is a lot more loosey-goosey, and I like that because it's nice and cool. Um, would make a really great bathing suit cover-up. The last one is my favorite, and this is the Kaftan style tunic. And it's my favorite because this is the year where Heather's trying new things. And the Heather of last year would have never worn a caftan. Ever. But this year Heather's wearing a caftan. Um, this is an extremely generous sizing. 
this I could wear as a dress. Um, when I tried it on, this is a medium. Again, I'm six foot one, so I'm pretty, I'm tall. And this came halfway down my thighs. So this I could absolutely wear as a dress. Maybe not on a windy day, but um, definitely could get away with it. Just maybe with a camisole underneath because as you can see, the neck opening is very generous. This has got beautiful tassels with a little bit of gold thread at the top. The pom-poms are back. There are pom-poms up the side and down the bottom. And this has got a flutter sleeve to it. And it's a quite a big opening. Um, and then this white is a print. So this is a placed print um, right on the fabric. And it's just, oh, it's so soft and loose and cool. And I just love the look of it. I think it's so gorgeous. Um, again, this sizing is probably even more generous than the white. Um, however, again, I, I, I feel like it would defeat the purpose of it being a caftan if I had ordered a smaller size. So I ordered a medium and I have room for two in here, but it doesn't look too big on me. Like it looks like a nice summery caftan and that's what I love about it. Um, so I will be posting my Instagram link below. So be sure to stay tuned to my Instagram so you can see what these guys actually look like in real life. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of me up there already with the lace tunic, but I haven't done the white um, or the blue yet. This weekend it's finally supposed to be warm up here in Canada, so I'm going to be giving these guys um, a test run. So stay tuned for that. It's absolutely going to be amazing. And again, you could wear so many pieces with this. Um, it would look amazing with the Tulum necklace. You could wear it with the long silver cost necklace. Because the thing about blues is I find with you can mix your shades of blue. So you can mix things like navy and turquoise and it looks really, really nice. Or if you wanted a small statement, you could absolutely rock. If I can show you without tangling the chain, you could absolutely rock the breeze block with this. For just a really nice, simple, simple look. And absolutely your bungalow hoops. So that is it. Um, there is one bag, other bag I got, which is um, unfortunately my purse right now, so I can't show it to you, um, but that is the Voyager reversible tote. So I'm going to link my website below, so make sure you go and check that out. It's the first time that Stolen Dot's done it. They've released it in two different colorways. It's a very, very simple beach tote, um, and the totes are reversible, so you get two fabric patterns. Um, there's a navy and pink e-cat and plain navy, um, so you can reverse between those two. And then there's a, a, a mint and denim, or chambray, which is the one I got. And each of them actually come with a corresponding pouch, because it's just a big empty tote, so the pouch helps you, you put your unmentionables in it, or your keys, or your money, or whatever. Um, and that little tote, or little pouch, um, attaches via a strap to the handle, which means that you can also take that off and use that as a wristlet or a little clutch or whatever you want. Um, so make sure you check out my website below and look at the Voyager tote because it's an amazing price point and it's your perfect go-to beach tote for the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little long-winded for being, oh, we're not done. How can I forget? Not only did they come out with tunics, but still and Dot has released not, no, not glasses cases. Sunglasses! Now I'm in a bit of a predicament because I've worn glasses since I was nine and I need prescription sunglasses so I can't wear these. But for my guests at my trunk shows I was like, I need to have at least one pair. So I picked up the Chevron Aviators. Aviators are a universally flattering shape. And how... I can't see myself in the camera, but I feel like a movie star. I think that they're such a beautiful, classic shape. Um, all of the Stella and Dot sunglasses, they're handmade frames, hand-polished lenses with UVA and UVB protection, and they have the traditional detail that you've come to expect from Stella and Dot. And I need to put my glasses on to be able to see what I'm looking at to show you. So for the chevron aviators, they've got these little hand sculpted chevrons on the side. These are come in white as well. And there's a little saying, 
on the inside. Yep, right on the inside of the arm. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but it says Hello Sunshine. Um, I'm really impressed with the quality of these. They feel like a premium sunglasses. I love the tint. It's a, um, a gradient of brown. Um, and they look amazing. There's also some other silhouettes that they released. Um, there's Wayfarers and Cat Eyes as well. Every pair of sunglasses comes with this breeze block pattern case and a polishing cloth. And then there's a palm, a palm print case that you can buy a la carte. So if you decide to have multiple pairs of sunglasses and you want to keep track of which one is which, you can get that as well. Um, these are going to be runaway bestsellers for sure. I can tell because it's the first time they've ever done anything like this and I'm just very very impressed with the quality and how um, how nice they are and maybe I need to get laser eye surgery so that I can wear these what do you guys think okay so now for sure we're done um, again I'm sorry it's so long-winded but I'm just so excited and I had so much to show you and talk to you about I hope you've enjoyed it so I guess my next video will be fall um, but let's get through summer first as always I'm going to link my um, website and my Facebook and my Instagram below so you guys can stay in touch with me. Please leave any questions below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as best as I can. And I hope that you all have an amazing, amazing summer. We'll talk to you next time.